For today's video, we'll be talking about vitting reaction. From this, this is an, a ketone. We start with a ketone and we go to an alkene, right? Double, double bond. As you can see on the reactant side, there's an oxygen. On the left, the right side, the product side, there is no um, oxygen. We have a CH2 instead. So in this case, we would use PPH3, triphenylphosphine, right? So PH3P, and then we use CH2. Right, so we have a CH2 on the other side, or you can write it like this: PH3P double bond CH2. All right, so always remember there will always be a double bond between uh, the phos the phos phosphorus and then the uh, CH2. Right, because when we draw it out like this, you can see there's a double bond right there. Right, they're all the same thing, all the same thing, and this is called a ilid. Right, we have a we have the PPH3 connected to a carbon group, right? An R group. So this will call, be called a ilid. Before we go any further, let's look at some rules for the triphenylphosphine. We have primary that works. Secondary, we have a slow reaction. And we have tertiary. There is no reaction. This is for the triphenylphosphine, right? It needs to be primary and or secondary, but primary the most. So the problem is how do we make this thing, right? So we have the triphenylphosphine connected to a carbon group, right? So say CH and CH3. This is called a ilid, right? An ilid. A triphenylphosphine connected to a carbon group is called an ilid. To see how this works, let's draw the mechanism. Let's start with the triphenylphosphine. We have 3PH that stands for the benzene, right? PH for short. And we have a lone pair on this phosphorus. The reagents that we're going to use is alkyl halide, a primary alkyl halide. That's two carbons right there, right? Also with BuLi, right? Butylithium. So, start with the alkyl halide. Phosphorus attacks that carbon, kicks off the iodine. So, we see that there's a CH3 and a CH2. I'm just showing you uh, the place of it. So, this will look like as a result. Having this connected to that CH2, so I draw the H out purposely like that because I'll show you what happens. And that's CH3, right? Now the, the butyl lithium comes in. This is a long uh, four carbon chain, so it's a butane technically. CH3, CH2, CH2, and CH2, right? So four carbons. Last carbon has a lone pair, negative charge. And it grabs that hydrogen and it forms a double bond. So that's where our double bond comes from, right? You have this structure. Double bond, CH, CH3. And this is how we form the ilid. This is how we make the ilid. And this is the vitting reaction, right? We use this to make our product. So the top and the bottom is the same thing. So now we know how to make this vitting reagent. Let's put it to use. All right, let's start with this ketone. And let's say our product is this, right? The oxygen is gone. We have a double bond here. Let's put a carbon there and put a CH3 and an H, right? They're hydrogen. Right, so always put the pH3 and then the P, right, for the phosphorus. So pH3P. Now we have a CH over there. So put CH. And then now we have a CH3. So put a CH3. And this is all you have to do to make this product. That simple. Let's do another example here. Let's give this an aldehyde. Make this an aldehyde. And let's say it forms something that would look like this. Still have that H over there. Double bond. And let's say carbon over here, CH3 and CH3 on the left and the right. Right. So, you start with pH3P, always, always. We have a carbon there, so write carbon, okay? We have two methyl groups, right? Two CH3. So, we put in parentheses, CH3, parentheses, and two, meaning we have two of them. So, without the color, so I'm just rewriting it so you, can, so you guys can see it perfectly. pH3P, C, CH3, and two on the outside. So this is how the vitamin reagent is used.
Now we know how to go from a ketone aldehyde to an alkene. Let's start with an alkene and go to a ketone or an aldehyde, right? So in this case, it looks like we're going from a ketone. What you do is you look where the double bond's at, right? So we have an alkene, and we're going to go to a ketone in this case because I don't see no hydrogens in here sticking out. So all we do now is just look at the double bond is at, split that in half. We put this where the pH 3 comes in, double bond pH 3 because it's a double bond where we split it, right? The pPH 3. This is primary. We have to have this primary. We said the pPH 3 needs to be primary, right? Then the other half is where the ketone comes in, right? The ketone. So that red is the uh, triphenylphosphine, and the blue is the where the ketone's at. So we need a primary triphenylphosphine to make it work. So in this case, that's what we have, and that's what we've got. So all you do is just split it in half just like that. Let's do another example here, okay? Let's start with an alkene, right? We have a cycloalkene here. Now let's add CH and CH3. So let's start with an alkene and go to a ketone, or an aldehyde, but in this case it's a ketone. Let's cut this in half. Let's put the oxygen, the double bond oxygen, and we have made our ketone. Now let's make the other half, the ilid, right? So we write the triphenylphosphine. Attached with a double bond, right? So a double bond, CH, CH3. And this is our product that we have made. Let's do another example here. We start with an alkene, right? We have this aromatic ring. Let's make this an alkene, right? So as you can see, this is going to turn into an aldehyde because we see the hydrogen here. Up there where I circled, and this is a CH2, right? Just drawing in, it's a CH2 over there. So all we do now is we draw that, and oxygen should be there. So to make that aldehyde, right? So we made an aldehyde, which is what we wanted to do. Now plus the other half, right, the ilid, plus, let's put PH3P, the triphenylphosphine, connected to that car carbon chain, right? That carbon, double bond carbon, double bond CH2. And this is how we make it. So this is our answer. Let's do the mechanism for this. Let's say we have this ketone. And it's making this alkene, right? CH2. We know this is the Vitting reagent is pH3, P, CH2. So how we get this, we do the mechanism. Start with the Vitting reagent on how we get this negative charge on this carbon. Some people don't show this part because it's unnecessary. They already show the, the negative charge, but I'm showing you how we get the negative charge. Some sort of resonance happened for this ilid. ilid. Double bond goes to carbon, giving off electrons, and make it, making it a negative charge carbon. So this ilid is now negative charge. This is part of the process, but so that ketone comes in, and we have the ilid. That negative charge carbon goes and attacks that carbon where the ketone's at, and that double bond goes to phosphorus, right? The P. We form, okay, well, the bracket is showing that um, this is not part of the procedure. I'm, show, I'm just showing an example for it. Now, we have this ring forming, four-membered ring, the carbon there, you have the triphenylphosphine right there, connect together like that, pH, pH, we also have the other carbons, right, CH3s, when it was on the ketone. You don't have to draw it like that, the, the stereochemistry, the wedge and the dash, but I'm just showing you how to do it. So now that forms like that. It breaks off, forming like that. And we have a final product of two products, actually. All right, the tri tri uh, triphenylphosphine. And we have the ketone, the alkene, I mean, that we made, like this.